Hey, I'm Michael. I just finished my homework. I've been traveling around Washington, D.C. It was for my American government class. Yesterday, I went to Hawaii. Take a look. Did some surfing while I was there. I was studying the anatomy of waves and how they're propagated. That's some of the neat stuff you can learn at the Florida High School. And there's lots of other stuff, like algebra, literature, even chemistry. But the really neat thing is, you don't have to go to class. Seriously, you can study right in your own living room, just as long as you've got a computer, a modem, and a telephone jack. Having a big screen TV hooked up to your computer doesn't hurt either. So what's the catch, you're thinking? This seems too easy. Truth is, any student can apply for the Florida High School. All you need is your parents' approval and the okay from your school guidance counselor. There is one thing, though. You really got to be sure before you sign up the Florida High School is right for you. There's lots of serious studying going on here, and you got to be willing to put in the time. Take a look at what we do. If you take Latin, you get to check out the action in the Colosseum. Or you can find out how Romulus got to be the first king of Rome. Eventually, Romulus and Remus discovered their true identity, went back to Elba Longa, and drove out their wicked uncle. If you take English, you can find out what Shakespeare had in mind for another king who tried to have it all. Hear thou, incestuous, murderous damn Dane, drink off this potion. And if you take physics, you can learn about the laws of nature that dictate how everything works. It's not unusual for Florida high school students to put in two or three hours a week more on each of their courses. That's because you know exactly what you've got to do to get the grade you want. In a few minutes, you'll get to take a quiz, and you can grade it yourself. It's a kind of personality profile. You'll find out if the Florida high school is right for you. To get you ready for the quiz, let's go on the road to see the stories of these fairly typical Florida high school students. Roderick Riley is a high school senior. He works three days a week for an electrical contracting company. Two days a week he studies at a technical school. Community college is his next stop. Roderick took economics at the Florida high school because he wanted a challenge. He wanted to learn how to research information on the web. He also figures he'll be using computers throughout his entire career. Roderick planned what he wanted out of high school. For him, the Florida high school fit the plan. Since the age of two, Erin Brender has stretched to reach her full potential. Her gymnastic skills have taken Erin to competitions around the country. She hopes that they'll also win her a college scholarship when she graduates high school. The Florida High School works for Erin because of her schedule. When not on the road, Erin spends six hours every afternoon in the gym. The mornings are when she studies. Most of her courses are on computer. It takes discipline to be a gymnast and to manage your time, as well as Aaron. Hamid Mirzada just got back from three weeks in Australia. He was part of the U.S. Tennis Association's junior team competing in the Australian Open. Averaging 20 tournaments a year, Hamid does a lot of traveling. But wherever he goes, he takes his computer and the Florida High School. Competing at his level means that Hamid must train five days a week. Mornings are better when temperatures are cooler. The evenings are for homework. For Hamid, both his game and his education are top priorities. This is Michelle Ramirez, a high school senior with an interest in languages. This is younger sister Cherie Ramirez. Biology is her favorite subject. They both go to the same high school, swim on the same swim team, and take many of their courses from the Florida High School. Michelle's school didn't offer Latin, so she's learning about Roman culture on her computer. Cherie wanted to take Algebra 2 at a time convenient for her. Studying online fit the equation perfectly. Two sisters choosing different courses from the Florida High School. Okay, now it's your turn. You've seen some of the courses. You've seen some of the students who take the courses. Now let's find out if studying in cyberspace is right for you. Along with your videotape, you should have a copy of the Is the Florida High School Right for Me quiz. If you don't have one, I've got it right here. There are only seven questions. 
For each question, you check either yes or no. And when you're all through, I'll tell you how to rate yourself. These questions will show if there's a good match between what the Florida High School offers and what you're looking for. I am now going to hand things over to Julie, our very cool voice from cyberspace. She will take you through the questions. Welcome. Please remember to answer all questions with a yes or no. Maybe doesn't count. And please don't skip any questions. Question number one. I am motivated and self-directed. Nobody needs to push me to get things done. Does that describe you? Answer yes or no. Question number two. I can set my own schedule and complete my work on time. Does that describe you? Again, answer yes or no. Question number three. I can write well and I have good communication skills. Check yes or no on your answer sheet. Question number four has to do with problem solving. I like to solve problems and try to figure out solutions on my own. Check either yes or no. And please remember not to skip any questions. Question five is, I can read and follow detailed instructions on my own. Check yes if you are good at following directions or no if you're not. Question number six is about the internet. I am excited about using my computer and the internet to research information and to communicate with others. Answer yes or no. Question number seven is the final question. I own or have regular access to a computer with internet and email. Again, answer yes or no. Michael will now tell you what your score means. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Julie. Okay, now here's what your answers mean. First, if you said yes to all seven questions, you should do really well as a Florida high school student. There are lots of Florida high school teachers who would love to have you in their class. Now let's look more closely at the first six questions. If you answered no to any two of these questions, you'll need to do some serious thinking. Don't give up yet, but if you become a Florida high school student, you'll need to work on improving some of the skills that the questions talk about. And if you answered no to four or more of the first six questions, you may do better to continue taking your courses in a traditional classroom. Finally, regarding question number seven, if you become a Florida high school student, you will need a computer with internet access for use each day. Please work with your parents and your school counselor to determine an appropriate solution. Is the Florida high school right for you? You're the best judge of that. You can check it out 24 hours a day at http colon slash slash fhs.net. See ya.